Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Even though he's in space, Scott Kelly is getting ready for flu season. The one-year crew member gave himself a flu vaccine as part of a study on the human immune system in space. Scott's twin brother Mark is receiving the vaccine down here on the ground, allowing scientists to monitor their different reactions. Researchers are using the brothers to take an important step towards solving the issue of a weakened immune system while in microgravity, something that could cause serious problems for astronauts on deep space missions. And it was movie night on the space station over the weekend. The Expedition 45 crew got a sneak preview of what a trip to Mars might look like with the space premiere of the new film, The Martian. With a real trip to the red planet in our not too distant future, it's important to test out all of the necessary systems. Head over to nasa.gov slash ISS science to learn more, including the top 10 ways the station is helping us get to Mars. This week's question is for Scott Kelly, and it comes from his fellow astronaut, Dr. Chris Beck. Well, it comes from actor Sebastian Stan, who plays Dr. Chris Beck in The Martian. Scott, you're spending a whole year in space. What's one thing you would change about the space station if you had to spend almost three years on it on a trip to Mars? Well, if I could change one thing, it'd be that's pretty easy. It'd be uh, the radiation uh, shielding we have. You know, this space station is pretty capable, pretty incredible place, and uh, has a lot of the capability you you need to go to Mars. But that's that's one thing we need more of because here we get a you know get the protection of the Earth and the magnetic field of the Earth. Well, that's it for this week. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag #SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.